Ah, 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 ah.
an overview of the setup we've used with the Lang micro grip vise in the middle. We did all the testing on this single vise in the middle of the machine, so all the tests were done in exactly the same conditions on the same place within the machine. All the parts were labeled afterwards for later reference, so we could look back and say this is what happened and this is why. With close-up pictures like this of the surface finish, this is of the Korochuk doing the full slot on the first test. But what we're all of course interested in is the final results, which you can see here. The welding did pretty good, but it was the as it is the cheapest, you would also expect uh, a little size size difference since it is also pushed to the side uh, due to the way it's designed. Um, it has no size for the 30 millimeter slot because it was vibrating so much we actually stopped that test. For the Coro Check 930, we also had a problem with the first slot. As you can see, it vibrated so much that the size got really bad. On the other test, actually, it outperformed the weldon and Centro P. If you look at the Centro P, it has a decent size everywhere, so you could say it's a winner. But what you can actually conclude from this is that the holders all work under certain conditions and do not actually function like wanted under other conditions. So. To get your feeds and speeds right, you actually need someone behind the machine that can tweak it and make it so that it runs perfectly, even when the book says different. I'll share this file with you so you can actually see what was going on, what we did, and if you want, run the same kind of test on your machine and your holders and see what happens. Thank you for watching, and if you've got any comments, please get in touch with us.